G'day, I'm Matt Davey. Today we're going to look at the hive that we did opening the sides of the brood nest on about two and a half weeks ago. We've had a few days of windy and cold weather, so I haven't been able to get into the hive the last couple of days. It, uh, before we do that, I've been asked two questions on a regular basis. The first one is, why don't you just insert a new frame into the middle of the brood nest? The answer is because when you insert a new frame, you're actually expanding out the brood nest. So you're making the volume of the, the brood nest larger. And so the bees have to work harder to keep that brood nest warm. And at this time of year, it's only early spring and you can get sudden drops in temperature. And so the bees have to work a lot harder to try and keep that brood nest warm. Now, this can cause issues with chilled brood and when you've got chilled brood you can also be introducing diseases like chalk brood. So we're trying to avoid chilling the brood and introducing diseases because the bees are stressed. Later on in the season when its temperatures are more constant and hotter it's not such a big issue but now that it's before swarm season we're trying to avoid any more stress than what's necessary. The second question is, why are you using foundation in the brood nest? Why can't you just use a comb guide or a starter strip? And the answer is you can, but uh, you often find that they will make frames that are totally drone comb. And that's because of the position of the frame on the outside of the brood nest. And because it's before swarm season, they're wanting to increase their drone population. So the reason I'm using foundation is to produce a more normal distribution of worker comb and drone comb because I'm wanting to use those frames in the brood nest. So let's have a look at the hive and see what they've done with those frames that we put beside the brood nest. So these two frames in the middle here were our frames that we brought up from the bottom and the bees have actually moved over to this side. So we've got two frames here that have been drawn out. So I'll just uh, pull those out and show them to you now. So that frame's full of nectar. Now this frame was actually a cut in a diagonal. So you can see there that where there's no foundation, they've drawn it out as drone comb as well. Okay, so this is the frame beside the two frames we brought up, so it's been completely drawn out, and that's full of nectar. Now that was a full sheet of foundation, and you can see they're actually starting to cap that off already. This next frame has brood on it. So here we have some drone brood and it's on both sides. This is the other frame and it's just solid honey. Here's our OSBN frame and you can see they're starting to draw that out. Depending on what we find down the bottom, I might move that OSBN frame down there. So let's have a look at what's down the bottom now. Let's uh, start with this side here, which has got the OSBN frame. Alright, so there you can see that worker came in the middle. And the drone came on the sides where we've had our empty spaces. Because we're using foundation uh, for our new frames in this, I'm going to put this other OSBN frame down in the same spot that it was and put this brood frame beside the brood in the top box there. So it's going to be directly above the brood nest and it's going to be beside brood frame. So we're keeping the brood nest um, together 
but we're adding space on the outsides. Now check this other side where we put in a frame that was uh, starting to get drawn out and uh, we'll see if there's brood on that one. If there is we'll move that up into the top box beside that other frame as well. So we can see this frame is full of nectar and pollen. Remember it was, it already had pollen in it. So that's why they've added more pollen to it and because it's on the outside of the brood nest as well. That's where the pollen is usually put. So I'll move this up into the top box. Now, as I said, you can just use a foundation that's cut diagonally for your OSBN type frame. As long as there's an empty space in the frame, uh, that will encourage the bees to draw new comb and um, produce wax. So that's just another idea for the type of frames that you can use in the opening the sides of the brood nest. So I'm just moving this honey frame over and we'll put this frame that they're still drawing out beside the brood frame here. So we've got our two frames that we've moved up from the bottom and then another brood frame here. And then our frame of nectar which has been drawn out. So I might add another frame here which has been drawn out as well. So I'll put this in between the honey frames here. And of course we've got our last frame which we took out first which is nectar. So the main point here is that we've added uh, new frames on the outsides of the brood nest in the, the main or the core brood nest and in our top box uh, we've got our brood together in the in the middle here and then we've got frames that they're still working on beside those brood frames and then we have honey on outside of that all right let's put it back together happy beekeeping <laughs>